the year that three of us shared the Nobel Prize for the ribosome for chemistry, its detailed structure and how does this molecule work. Two of the physics prizes went to people who developed CCD detectors. Where it turned out all three of us in chemistry had used CCD detectors, so we almost felt like we had to thank them for making our prize possible. Scientists are very promiscuous, and the good ones are the most promiscuous. They will keep their eye out for techniques and other disciplines and, and think about whether they can apply it here, and they won't be afraid to talk to people. You never know where science is going to lead almost any feature of modern life. If you ask, how is that invention possible? Nearly all of the time, it's not just one basic discovery, but a multitude of basic discoveries went into that work. And the interesting thing that has struck me is that curiosity-driven research often has transformative uh, effects. In other words, it creates entirely new industries that you didn't even know could exist. And that's happened with electricity, for one. Molecular biology. You can look at computing. Incremental science is needed to make the advances that we know are feasible or likely. But I think curiosity-driven research is what's going to create the new industries of the future that we don't even know exist.